Okay, so hi, I'm Kai, and this is Stigum. So I've been teaching for the past two years. I've taught programming, Lego robotics, and no matter what kind of class or age group I was teaching, there will always be this one recurring question. Ja, can we bring the robots home? My answer will always have to be no, because these robots cost $600 each. The moment they hear this, you can see a disappointed look on their face, knowing they have to take the robot apart once the lesson is over. The problem now is that this isn't just happening in Singapore. 70% of the global population does not even have access to quality STEAM education. There is a severe lack of relevant expertise in developing countries because not all teachers are going to know how to teach coding or robotics. Lastly, traditional education models are boring because there's too much focus on written papers and national exams. The Stickham solution to this are super affordable STEAM kits paired with an online ecosystem to turn hands-on learning into the norm. The outcome, creating problem solvers for the 21st century. Stickham consists of two parts, the hardware and the software. For the hardware, we have the connector kit and the electronics kit. The connector kit enables users to build simple geometric shapes to complex bridges and structures. But the electronics kit is what allows them to bring their creations to life. It's so simple that even a nine-year-old can create robots like these. To control your creations with our very own web app, within just 10 seconds, you can start controlling your robot through Google Chrome. What we want to do is really give students the freedom to turn their ideas into reality and build all sorts of crazy things. Maybe they want to make themselves a wearable Iron Man mask, build a battle bot to, com to compete with others, or even build a flying glider. This journey starts with Stickham Academy, where there are guided videos and tutorials in three different levels for students to learn all about using Stickham. Keep in mind, Stickham is so simple that no trainers are needed. You'll see why this is so important later. After Academy, Dojo is where students apply their knowledge and battle it out through guided videos and exciting challenges where they get to compete each against each other and upload their creations. Finally, we have Stickham Community. This is where seniors and juniors come together to pass down knowledge. They share and discuss their creations, which forms senior-junior relationships and learn from together in the process, so that one day, they themselves will uplift their juniors. The one thing that all these interactions have in common is that there's not a single teacher in sight. This is because juniors are learning and seniors are applying their skills, creating an ideal space for collaborative learning. This is Ishan, a Petri kid who really loves space. He started by drawing planets on cardboard he found around the house. He stuck them onto a makeshift frame, and within just 30 minutes, he had a fully working spinning solar system. I've talked all about product, and now Adam will talk business. We have two very strong advantages in our favor. We are 10 times cheaper than Lego, so instead of spending $600 for one Lego set, teachers can now give 10 students their very own to bring home. Furthermore, we are not limited by trainers, making us hyperscalable. With this competitive edge, we have two revenue streams, one from the sale of our hardware kits, and secondly, the subscriptions the schools will have to our online platform. And to hit critical mass by 2024, we plan to engage at least 30 primary schools and impact 10,000 students across Singapore. This is only possible now because schools finally have access to a financially sustainable robotics program. Our customer acquisition process has been quite simple. Within the past few months, schools and teachers have been reaching out to us to pilot with a class of students. And once they realize how effective it is, they scale it up to a core-wide program. Within the past few months, more than 300 young tinkerers and makers have joined our movement. And we have managed to organize more than 21 workshops in collaborations with various local organizations. And if you're wondering, yes, that's really PM Lee. And with this, we're asking for $70,000 in funding, the bulk of which are going to production and the development of our online platform. This will help us, help us scale our impact significantly beyond 2023. In fact, our biggest limitation right now is production. With more funds, we can directly convert those into benefiting more lives. And within the next 12 months, this is what we plan to do. We plan to engage at least 400 students and reach out to at least 10 social service organizations to continue to directly benefit the underprivileged children in our society. And eventually, we plan to make it nearly free with the help of CSR programs. And with this, we'll help Singapore move towards SDGs 4 and 10. So why us? Within the past four minutes, you've seen how much impact we've been able to make within just a few months. This is because we're all studying and doing what we love, and are pretty damn good at it. Apart from our skill sets, we're super tight-knit. I've actually known Aida since kindergarten, Jing'an since primary school, and Adam was my senior in robotics. With that, I hope you guys will help us in our journey to make STEAM education accessible to all. Any questions? Can I take a look at <laughs> uh, Why don't we have a round of applause for Team Stickum first? 
Oh, there's nothing in the box. Uh, that box has. Uh, now we give you a live demo if you want. Hey, cool. Live demonstration. Oh. I wonder where was this when I was a kid. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> If you can't see what's happening, you can stand up. Yeah, but you can't move around, but you can stand up and take a look. So we want to show you how simple it is to connect. So currently it's turned on, and you can just scan the QR code and it will send you to this link, our web app. Okay. And all you have to do is press connect, look for the stick and device, pair, and give it a while, select a mode, and there you go. So this is how simple we have made for the children of our society. We want to make it as least of a barrier as possible in terms of technology and in terms of their barrier to knowledge. So that there's a very low barrier of entry and a very high ce skill ceiling. Right. Little yeah. stick with chopsticks, yeah? Yeah, little chopsticks. All chopsticks. I love it. Uh, a stick with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> have you signed up any primary schools here? Yes, we have. Um, So we have two sets. Um, one is the connector kit. So yeah. this allows you to build the frame yes, of the robot yes. or tall tower. Yes. Then to control it, we have the electronic kit. So, so it's the board you see here plus um, some motors and some. They are off the shelf. Yeah. So um, even if you don't have our kit, oh, thank you. you can also use an Arduino. You can use some other devices. Yeah. Um, yeah. So back to the question about engaging yeah. schools. <laughs> so far. To give you an example, we have Rilang Primary School, and this is a primary school in Singapore that's really renowned for their robust robotics program. Right. But even they are having difficulties financing a very expensive robotics program that they're currently using called VEX and LEGO. These are familiar to many of us who have attended robotics programs. However, they're so expensive. So what this makes is that it makes robotics education a very exclusive part of our school's education curriculum. And when I open that up to the entire cohort, because why should anyone be left behind in this technologically reliant era? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Any other questions? Yes, can I buy one for my son? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, please do. Thank you so much. Yeah. I have no questions, actually. So yeah. you are comes with uh, instructions uh, online. Instructions. Yes. So the kids can be given one pack, and, and the kids can just handle it. Yeah, so um, we have Stigum Academy where there's guided videos, because we realize that uh, not everyone can go for the classes, right? Yeah. So Stickham Academy, you watch all the... Oh, you skipped the last bit. Just give uh, me a minute. You watch all the guided videos in three different levels. Then you learn about the basics of it. Then after that, you should be able to build robots already. Then and where you at the cost of $60? 65 65 <laughs> <laughs> Discount. Discount. <laughs> oh, 60 can, 60 can. exactly the same thing, goodness. <laughs> Um, I think the system went down, but yes, as he has explained, one of our main differentiating factors is that we do not need trainers. We're not relying on them. Because currently the status quo is that all these schools are engaging external trainers, which cost the school thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. And why should that be the case when all the resources can be done online and the student can engage these communities in a purpose-driven format rather than being taught, oh, you need to learn to step one to step 10 so that you can participate in competition. Yeah, I'm so excited about your STEM kit. I, I've played with one before. I mean, I, I grew up with Lego as well. I'm just curious, like, who came up with the curriculum, like, the one that you got posting online? Stickum Academy. Uh, Stickum Academy is just a curated uh, videos to guide you through how to use Stickum. So it's not like, it doesn't go super in-depth into, like, or what is robotics or, yeah, so it's just technical stuff. So, so your team is the one who, who sort of yeah. imagine how you can play this and then you create the, the sort of guided steps to, to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very interesting. All the productions are done in-house. Yeah. Okay. And also notice like those are uh, those parts are 3D printed. Uh, are you all, um, I'm just wondering like, will, will you all be coming up with like further iterations or this mainly is the basic set that will go? Uh, uh, yes, definitely we'll be constantly reiterating our products and making new innovations. But also the fact that these are 3D printed is because we are not, oh. Yep, sorry, the slides are having some issues. Okay, so you'll worry. have to visually um, <laughs> explain it to them. Yeah. Right. So in the long term, we really want to make it open source, the hardware kits. So these 
anyone across the world will not be reliant on us as a retailer to try to get this to them. But instead, if they, as long as they have a 3D printer, they can print their parts at home. Furthermore, we are actually in development of a specific um, part of Stickum Online called um, Stickum DIY. I think Kai can tell you about that. Yeah, so um, the purpose of Stickum DIY is that anyone with a 3D printer or access to a maker space nearby them can go print their own Stickum kit. So this cuts us out as the middleman and brings access to even more people anywhere around the world. I uh, also wanted to like, elaborate on that. Then how would you uh, protect your own IP if all these are so easily available to other people? So the final goal for Stickum for our hardware is to be open source. But for our software, um, that's where our defensibility comes in. The online ecosystem, um, Stickum Dojo, it can't really be replicated as easily. Okay, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Just one last point. I recall seeing something like this overseas at a much cheaper price using uh, items that are available. You want to just check out. Yeah. All right, sure. Yeah. And any other questions? No? Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much to Team Stickum. Uh,